Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is a spiritual advice reading for the collective Virgos regarding the first half of March of 2023. All right, Virgo. So for this reading, I've been guided to the Native Spirit Tarot deck available via debris.com and I'm going to be laying a circle spread so dear Lord spirit guides and angels please bless whichever Virgo needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the first half of March of 2023 <laughs> So we have a Virgo starting out March with a wish come true. Look at the smugness on that Indian uh, Native American, pardon me, on their face. I'm more focused on the energy, pardon my words, and the delivery. I'm trying to do my best. King of Cups energy. Someone here is thinking about uh, how far you've come in the area of your emotions. Wow, Virgo. Wanting maybe to open yourself uh, up to someone here because the Nine of Cups is a wish come true when it comes to emotional fulfillment here. Now we do have a Virgo who may be thinking about a King of Cups type energy, Virgo, I'm sorry, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the Major Arcana, the Magician. So the magician is looking up at this person who's saying, I want what I want when I want it. I want to manifest something in the area of another or others here. I'm thinking about someone in hopes that they are emotionally balanced. And I'm wanting to manifest that. So if you're single and you uh, are waiting to manifest a connection with someone, I think Spirit say is saying to some of you Virgos this could have to do via your money your business your organization or someone that you work for for others of you I feel like there's greater emotional balance and more open-hearted nurturing thoughts because you are manifesting the nine of Pentacles so this is the realization that you are creating financial abundance for yourself and it feels like a wish come true. So of course, like a lot of the collective right now, you are manifesting abundance and now your heart is opening up, right? You're feeling stable and secure and the worries are falling away. In the first half of March of 2023, Virgo. Now in the actions position, we do have the Four of Swords. So there is this uh, realization that, um, you know, one path no longer serves you. There's a little bit of inaction for some Virgos in the first half of March of 2023 because they are still focused on something that they put a lot of time and effort into. But Spirit saying slowly but surely you're going to be going away from one situation into the direction of something better, this wish come true type energy with the Nine of Cups in the center of the reading. So emotionally, look at now they've got two ships. I am leaving troubled waters behind. I'm taking action to travel into a new direction in order to compare it to where I have been for I have the beautiful mag magician as a major arcana at this time to travel into the direction of the manifestation of great abundance great abundance and happiness now in the subconscious position we have the four wow the four of cups so someone here is maybe connecting with someone who has the magician energies in more of a negative manner where they're trying to manipulate a situation and then that leaves this Virgo thinking is this a real offer or not is this what will help me to leave troubled waters behind is this person making a real open-hearted kind 
offer here. For in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the Nine of Wands. So I think above the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, there is this realization that your efforts have paid off. For some of you, it could very well be around the 9th of March, where you recognize that you can now move on. That an offer that came to you is an offer from the universe. So in the inner strengths position, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the strength to keep on researching, learning, practicing, deciphering until you can manifest forward movement. So there's a lot here about don't give up. The offer will come. It will set you free. Wishes that are coming true, yes, build upon those because you could manifest great abundance and then eventually move on from whatever uh, is keeping you a bit tied up here. Now in a three card summary with the same native spirit tarot deck, we've got the high priestess, very common card, the two of pentacles, also very common, and the common page of coins. So this is kind of the collective's energy as well. The ability here in the first half of March of 2023 with the high priestess is a major arcana to uh, follow your intuition as you plant seeds, not taking action until you have gotten to the truth of which path is going to lead you down a path of victory. Yeah, someone's feeling backed into a corner when it comes to your current circumstances and you're just waiting for a wonderful offer to come and free you, right? Whether that's professionally or personally. Oh my, we have some who either ran into the Knight of Wands energies who came and went very quickly and now there's this strong desire to go forward and manifest um, happiness. For some, it is this unexpected communication that shows up here in the first half of March for you, Virgo, where you recognize that you've received what you've been working towards, what you've been wanting. So we do have celebration here, but we also have in some cases, uh, maybe with this air type energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, uh, that uh, there does need to be left behind a three-party situation where the Seven of Cups represented a lot of fantasy and illusion. Spirit's saying a new path is going to be a path of abundance. Things are going to speed up, and then there's going to be transformation. One path ends as another begins. So there's definitely a call here for this Virgo in the first half of March of 2023 to uh, get to the truth of what's holding you back with the Five of Cups. For we have the Queen of Cups energies, kind of like the High Priestess, the ability to acknowledge signs as you continue to manifest and move forward. Spirit saying eventually you're going to see a sign where you're going to be nudged by Spirit to take a risk. There comes some form of exciting communication about a new adventure, wands representing home, family, or business, and Spirit saying we're sending in our assistance with the major arcana of the judgment to help you to make the highest, best decisions. I feel like someone here is going to recognize that your efforts are paying off with the three of wands and your ship is coming. You're excited to get out and share this good news with those around you. The realization uh, that you are making a wish come true in the area of money. So hang in there because, of course, when we least expect it, I'm getting the 8th or 9th of March of 2023 for some Virgos, there's going to be really good news in the form of the page of coins regarding money or things of the material. Passion, strength, excitement. I have manifested a wish come true. I have overcome confusion and am traveling into the direction of an exciting new adventure where I can leave the Three of Swords behind. Any heartache, whatever was holding me back, worry or fear. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages by bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please continue to confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for whichever Virgo needed to hear this information most regarding the energy and spiritual advice for the first half of March of 2023. 
So wishes coming true in the area of marriages, commitments, partnerships, contracts. Either you know of this or you're waiting a little bit for this to show up in the first couple weeks of March of 2023, Virgo. Either way, you've got the faux card in the thoughts position. I get to decide. Do I want to bring upon this offer, this opportunity, this connection to this very kind King of Cups type energy or not? Someone, there could be a Virgo thinking about maybe an older uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the King of Cups energies. Whether or not uh, there's going to be marriage uh, in the end, whether or not this contract can lead you away from your worries and concerns emotionally. So in the relationship sector, we have a surprise coming to those who've been manifesting uh, a new, uh, more abundant path. There could be a surprise that someone shows up here with a message that makes you, Virgo, start to contemplate what this could be, what this could turn into. So we have in the creative aspects position, a Virgo who is creating a wish come true in the area of money regarding a service business organization. Now I do feel like some Virgos, you're over here doing your thing. You're thinking about marriage. You're thinking about business. You're thinking about the things you need to take care of. And boom, out of the blue, someone comes in to surprise you. Someone may come in with the four of cups and offer an empty cup just to see if you'll fall for it but it doesn't look like Virgo will. We got the constancy energy of stubbornness and frustration. I'm leaving a situation behind because I fear their manipulation. I'm not sure I can trust them. And then here you are, Virgo, leaving troubled waters behind in the area of your emotions because you're working on a service business organization. You're working on your own personal plans. And Spirit's saying, have hope. It may take until the third or fourth offer before you recognize who or what is the one that Spirit's assisting you with manifesting in the relationship sector to another or other. So there's someone here hoping for a surprise in the area of marriage, commitment, partnership, contract. And here's who we have day to day. We've got the Lord energy. Someone who's a father figure, grandfather figure, uncle, brother, ex, whatever the Lord represents to you. This could be someone who's in a leadership position and um, they recognize your efforts. And they're the one bringing a contract regarding a service, a business, what you've been putting your effort into because you've been feeling strong enough, right? In the first half of March to really practice your skills, to build on your accomplishments. So Spirit's also giving Virgos the strength of the priest energy to really decipher the truth of a situation that you're hoping for when it comes to this Lord. What decision will I make? When will Spirit bring me this offer? I know I need to be patient in the area of my actions so I can avoid energies of stubbornness and frustration. I'm going to trust that as I keep my head down and work on what I'm creating for myself, that spirit's going to be a, bring a surprise in the relationship sector because of my hope, because I'm still continuing to pray and get out there. I'm still making these accomplishments. So look what's on the bottom of the deck. Virgo, one of your favorite cards, I would presume. Um, this is the fortune card. Someone here is really going to be working towards what eventually is going to evolve here. Wish come true in the area of a commitment partnership contract. Yes, looking, we have a Virgo at the beginning of March looking at their profits, their abundance, their money. But not feeling like maybe you're receiving enough in some way. Someone here is imprisoned to the past, wanting cheerfulness, waiting on the thief. Okay, so the thief is someone who comes and goes rather quickly and then steals your peace of mind. Someone is still going to find that you're sitting in this room alone, waiting for someone to throw you a bone with the consolation energy. And then there's a realization of falseness and despair. We got lover, wife, joyfulness. 
trying to heal. Feeling a bit discontent and bored, but spirit saying trust and have hope. And some form of letter communication, paperwork, is going to come right to you. So spirit's confirming with the messenger card and the home. Coming to you at home from within the home, email, whatever, text, some form of surprise. So we've got a Virgo here with the old woman energy, male or female, that's like, okay, I'm looking at the Cupid here with the love energy, but I have been there and I've done that. And I am going to research this surprise communication. I am searching for joyfulness. Though I know someone here with the pleasure seeker energy is kind of out to have some fun. But I've grown and I've evolved. And I do not want the gift of the enemy. A reunion with someone's ego. So it's like as soon as you surpass that and move into that energy of hope, boom. There comes this energy of I can slowly leave that behind because spirit's saying I'm growing into this young woman energy, male or female. My heart is open to a nurturing, loving family of my own. And so spirit's saying there's kind of this sign in awe. And the realization that there was sorrow in the past. If someone was hoping that someone would come towards them with the doctor card, wanting to care, give, provide, and support. But now there's a realization of an ending with the soldier card, the one night stand, the person that should not be trusted. Overthinking a new beginning and journeying forward. That's what spirit's advice is for this Virgo. All right. So I'm going to uh, confirm and close and bring in any last spiritual messages for this Virgo or groups of Virgos. I'm bringing in the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed for whichever Virgo or groups of Virgos needed to hear this information most. Closing message for the first half of March of 2023. So again, they're talking about the Eight of Abundance, the Eight of Pentacles, that's in the inner strengths position as well. This is a time, Virgo, of learning and honing your personal skills and your talents. You may feel inspired at this point to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself regarding the healing arts. This could also be learning something on YouTube because knowledge is power. And then you can take that wisdom and create something moving forward that you truly enjoy. For now is a good time to change jobs or to make a career move. The key to success will be found in the details. So this could definitely be someone who is in a leadership position with the Lord card and spirits in with the nine of wands. Don't give up. Keep on keeping on. Monitor your projects carefully, for eventually an offer is going to come that you've been hoping for. And then uh, you can move forward. Yeah, look at that. The guardian of abundance is walking this journey with you in the first half of March, Virgo, saying that this is a time, a great time of great success for you. So personally, business-wise, your plans are blessed and will definitely move forward perfectly. So unexpected job opportunities will arise in the future. Make sure to accept them. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and or you would like your own personal general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one month reading as well. I wanna say a big thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. A big thank you to those of you who come to me for month to month readings and to those of you who have gifted these readings to others. That has been a lot of fun. Thank you as well for your donations. Take care. God bless.